हाय लर्नर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे लेट अस डू द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक दैट इज द एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड पावर्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग लेट अस सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इफ द नंबर्स आर इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो ए नंबर रिटर्न एस इफ इट इज रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्म एम इन टू टेन दिस टू एन this is said to be in the standard form if m is a decimal number such that 1 is less than or equal to m is less than 10 so what do we mean by this one so here this m is going to be when we say it is less than or equal to m means this if you go this way that m is going to be greater or equal to 1 but it will be if we go this way this is going to be less than 10 so greater than or equal to 1 or it will be less than 10 and n is this n is either a positive or a negative integer so when you do the problems you this thing will be more clear so now let us see 2.3 innings write the following in the standard form so now this is given as 6250032988.25 so now as it is said here m is e Equal to one, greater or equal to one. So what we can write, but it is less than ten. So we have to put the decimal over after one digit over here because this is six. So we have to write six point and then all these numbers. So if we are writing here six point and this all numbers, so what is going to happen here? After this, can you see a decimal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, and there is a point over here. So we have to write into ten raised to eight. So this is in the standard form. Now look at here. If it is zero point zero zero zero, if it is this way, that is, the ten power is going to be negative. So now what I'm going to do? Just think of this number, not the zeros. So it is three to nine eight. So it should be after three point. So we have to write three point two nine eight. So if we are writing at three point two nine eight, so point is here. So we will go because now these all are zero. So we will go in the reverse order. So and then there is a decimal. So what will we do? One, two, three. We have to count these three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it should be ten just to minus nine. Again, now look at here. If it is zero point zero zero, so that whatever the power ten is going to be negative. So now we are going to consider this a. So that will be eight point zero. So now from this one, this point zero is here. So we are going to count here one, two, three, four, five. So what are we going to write here? Eight into ten this to minus five, and then or we have here into ten this to minus two. We can even write this step. If you want this extra step, so now what will you do? Eight point zero into because this is you know the in exponent says a rule that a is to m into a is to n that will be a is to n plus n. So here we have minus two plus or minus plus minus two that is going to be minus five minus two that is going to be minus seven. So into ten is to minus seven. Now here. Again, the decimal we have to change because this is after hundred, so that the decimal should be here. So after this one, whatever the numbers are, we will write as it is one point zero zero one. But then, what are you going to do after the decimal? It goes like because here these are two, so we are going to write here one point zero 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 one. So no, that will be four zeros and one into Ten this to two, and this is ten this to three. So that will be what? One point zero 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 and one into when we this the base is the same. So we are going to add the exponent. So that will be ten this to five. So this is the answer. Now again here after this one there should be a decimal point and other things will be the same. So uh, here because here are zeros, so we are just going to write till here. So three point zero three zero three, so that should be here. So now after this, but when we are counting, 
to write the power of 10. So we have to count all the numbers. But when we are writing, we need not write these zeros. So 3.0303. But when we are counting for the power of 10, so then we will count the total digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we are going in this way. So now we will say into 10 is to 10. Now that was in the standard form and now this is in the usual form. So now in the usual form is we have to remove the decimal. So now what you can see here, this 5.12 can be also written as 5, see here 512 by 100. So we can write the step if you want here. So we can also write this as 512 by 100 into 10 raised to 4. So this can be also written as this 512 raised to that will be 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 4. So now what can you do further? See here, this is actually division. So division means what do you do? A raised to M divided by A raised to N. That will be A raised to M minus N. So what will you write here? 10 raised to 4 minus 2. So that will be 10 raised to 2. So this is going to be 512 into 10 raised to 2. 10 raised to 2 means that is going to be into 100. So you will get this. Take these two zeros over here. So that is going to be 51200. Hope this is clear. So now here, we want, the, we want to remove this one and write as a usual form. So what we can do here, because it is 10 this to minus 8, so we have to go this way. So we'll write here 3, but we have to, when we count here, we have to count along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, along with 3. So And then put a decimal over here. So you will go in the reverse order. Now again, for this one, we will go in the reverse order. So we can write one step over here. So that will be 1 into, this is, we are going in the reverse order, that is 3, 1, 2, 3. So that is going to be 10 just to minus 3, and this is already 10 just to 6, this part. So what is that going to be? 10 just to 6. So now you can see the, base is the same so minus 3 plus 6 we are going to add the exponents so that is going to be 10 raised to 3 and 10 raised to 3 is that is 1000 now let us see how to do this problem 3.457 into 10 raised to minus 9 so now this one we have to in this one because in the usual form we have to remove the decimal so we can write here 3457 divided by 1 2 3 so we will divide by 1000 into 10 raised to minus 9 so this is going to be 10 this to 3 into 10 this to minus 9. So we can do one thing over here. If we bring this one in the denominator, uh, in the numerator, so that is going to be minus 3. So 3, 4, 5, 7 into 10, 10 this to minus 3 into 10 this to minus 9. So that will be 3, 4, 5, 7. The base is the same. So you are going to add the exponents here. So minus 3, minus 9, that, that is going to be minus 12. So you will write here. 3, 4, 5, 7, and because this is minus 12, you have to go in the reverse order. So when you are counting to minus 12 means you have to go 12 numbers, counting this one backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then put a decimal. Hope you got this one. Express the following numbers in standard form. So now here, this is 1 divided by 2.5 mm in meters. So first thing this is important that 1 meter is 10 this to minus 3 meter. So now what are you going to do? So we want this is uh, 1 mm is 10 this to minus 3 meter. So we have 1 by 2.5 mm. So below this mm we will write this one. So we we want in meters. So this is the question. So what are we going to do when you cross multiply this one? So when we cross multiply what happens now here we have two numbers. Here we have just one number. So whatever the two numbers are there, that we always, always write in the numerator. So now we will write here 1.21 divided by 2.5 into 10 to 3. 
and divided by one means we don't have to write that divided by one. So now what are we going to do? This is the numerator, and this is the denominator. So now 2.5 we can make, uh, remove the decimal. So 2.5 is 25 by 10 because if you go backwards, so there is only one number, so we have to divide by 10. Suppose it is 2. Point anything number we have 5, 6. So there are two numbers means we have to go 256 divided because two numbers backwards. So that will be 100 and so on. So this is 25 by 10 and this as it is. So now what happens? This is the numerator. This is the denominator. So this gets split over. So this will be 10 by 25 into 10 is to minus 3. So what we can do when we divide this 10 divided by 25. So this, this is a bigger number. So what are we going to do? We are going to put here one zero. Since we are putting here zero means here there is, will be a zero point. Then 25 fours are 100. So now what happens here? This is 0.4. So 10 divided by 25 is 0.4 multiplied by 10 this to minus 3. Since we want this in the standard form. So what are we going to do? This 0.4, we can also write this one as 0.4 is 4 by 10 into 10 this to minus 3. So for this 10, we can take it up. So that is going to be minus 1 into 10 this to minus 3. So that is going to be 10 this to minus 1 and 10 this to minus 3. That will be 10 this to minus 4. So it will be 4 into 10 this to minus 4 meter. Because we want the answer in the standard form. So now here 0 0.005 centimeter in meters. So now for this one, we know 100 centimeter is 1 meter. So now Below this centimeter, there should be centimeter. So 0 0.005 centimeter is how much? Again, this we are going to cross multiply. So these two numbers will into one that is going to be 0 0.005. And this will go in the denominator. So what will happen here? This is going to be 5 into, if you go backwards here, 10 this to minus 3 divided by 100. So 5 into 10 this to minus 3 divided by 10 this to 2. So that will be. 5 into 10 this to minus 3 into this will be if, if this goes in the numerator that is going to be 10 this to minus 2. So this 5 as it is this base same so we are going to add the exponent so minus 3 minus 2 is going to be minus 5. So 5 into minus 10 this to minus 5 meter is the answer. The mass of a cell is 1600 into 10 this to minus 20 gram. Find the mass of 200 cells and write it in standard form. So first we have to write mass of one cell. Of a cell means one cell is given. So mass of 200 cells. So this again what we are going to do this cells and cells together. So we are going to. Here we don't know what is that. We are going to cross multiply. So always the two numbers means it is going to be in the numerator. So 200 into 1600 into 10 to 1 divided by 1. Usually we don't write that 1. So when you multiply this you get into 10 this to minus 20. So now we want in the standard form. So what are we going to do? We can write this one as 3.2 into after if we are writing here 2, how many numbers are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will write it into 10 this to 5 because if you are going here means that is going to be positive. And this 10 this to minus 2 as it is. So this will be the same. Base same means exponents you have to add. So 5 minus 20. So that will be minus 20 plus 5. So that is going to be minus 15. So 3.2 into 10 this to minus 15. This is grams. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So that you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.